Now that you've been introduced to a few of the tools, let's take a look at uh, drilling some holes. And I've got my project over here, and I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice some holes in the side. And there's a couple things that go along with that. And uh, one of them is that uh, there's some lines across here, and it actually gives you some crosshairs to center up. If you're using a, a hole saw or something like that, it doesn't matter that much. When you get into the knockout set, you're going to want those crosshairs, especially when using larger conduits, and I'll show you why. Start off with the unibit. And this one drills half inch hole. You want to chuck it up tight. We'll go ahead and drill this on in. I'm not sure if you could see that or not, but there was tons of metal shavings that come out of there. They're extremely hot, and uh, knowing darn well that we're not supposed to drill into a live panel, um, this is kind of one of my, uh, I like this one because it's quick and it's easy, and I can, something I can carry around in my pouch. Then that's, that's a, a typical half inch hole for a connector, it's, it's actually 7 eighths. And then the other drill bit here, the other unit bit, goes uh, half through one inch, and this can be a beast, so I don't use it that often. I'd, I'd go for a wholesale or knockout first. So that was a 7 eighths. What I'm gonna do now, instead of breaking out my drill bits, I'm gonna drill a hole with a 7 eighths unit bit. It's absolutely drills out for uh, for the 3 8 for the half inch KO cutter and with half inch KO cutter then we'll move up into you know a one inch or inch and a quarter something like that So now that we have that one, let's go ahead and use one of the ideal hole saws that I have. Rather than doing a half inch, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this one out as a one inch so that you don't need all these other pieces and parts. And you'll see the purpose of these in the sense of you got to drill seven eighths and then you put your slug buster in there you got to knock that out to your next size up same thing here you have to put your half inch in there knock that out go to your next size up or if you're going to drill one inch hole then just grab your one inch hole saw put it on your mark i'm just going to move this over a little bit In my other video, I was talking about the taper on these. So see how that stopped? It's a smaller size hole right there. Now it's gonna pop in there one more time so that you can have a little bit more control of your hole saw. Now that we've got that drilled out, we've gone through both steps here on this tapered bit. We'll go ahead and drill this out. One of the things that uh, you know I'm kind of unclear on but uh, what's, what's the speed you're supposed to be drilling these at? Well, some people say slow, some people say high. Uh, some people say you're always supposed to put oil on it. You know, it just it depends on how many holes I'm drilling and what I'm doing. Chances are if I'm only doing one hole, I'm not going to break out the oil. If uh, I'm going to be drilling a lot of holes, uh, it would be a different story. So if you got your preference on uh, speed, go ahead and make a comment and uh, let's find out what the what others do.
the one inch with the ideal hole saws. And if my other video camera worked out, notice how it popped out on the other side. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and take a look at the, uh, the KO cutter. Now, as I mentioned before, this is a 7 8 hole for half inch EMT fittings or rigid conduit IMC. And what I'm going to do is I'll leave that one alone because it's half inch, pretty self explanatory. I'm going to go up to this one and show you what it takes to drill out or uh, knock out for a larger size hole. So, first step in that is to get out your half inch bolt, your cup. And then you'll want to put your bolt through that hole, through that 3 8 I drilled. And on the other side here, we'll go ahead and put the cutter on. And this has a, a reverse and forward on it, tighten, loosen, whatever you want to call it. You just crank it on down. Now you got your 7 8 hole there. And you want to take your your bolt here for the next size. And let's go ahead and do a, an inch and a half. And what those lines were for down here that I was showing you is on the side of these cups. You can't see it, but um, there's there's little notches. So that you can actually center up your hole to get a precise hole. So in cutting these, the one thing I wasn't paying attention to, and it's a good good lesson learned here, is that you have to have your distance knowing what size hole you're going to cut through here. So rather than doing the half inch or inch and a half, I'm going to pop this down to just a one inch, just to kind of show you. when I drilled with the 7 8 unibit. As you see, I'm kind of stretching here. Sometimes it takes two guys, two people, to go ahead and get this in. So this can kind of determine on what you're going to use too, a hole saw, a uh, knockout set, using a bit, whatever. We'll go ahead and crank this on out. go. A one inch, three eighths, and another one inch in here, seven eighths, and another one inch in here. So depending on your application and what you need, uh, pay attention to a few of those things that I uh, goofed up on there. Uh, location of where your holes are at, lining up with your center marks. Now that we've used the knockout set, the unibit, the KO cutter, and the ideal hole saws. What I'm going to go ahead and do now is uh, show you using the standard hole saw. This particular arbor is too big for this half inch, 
So what I'll have to do is I'm going to change it out to this arbor. In order to do that, I'm going to unscrew this bit. Slide it down in the, the slot here. This has flat areas on it, on the drill bit. So when you put the set screw in, it holds that set or it holds that bit down. And we'll take and thread that on. Well, this bit's a little longer than I really need for this particular one. There's different sized bits. Um, I had a bit out earlier. It was actually a lot smaller than this one, but. Uh, for the purpose, we'll go ahead and just use this. And you want to keep in mind again, what's on the other side of that? Is it wiring? Is it, uh, uh, in my case here, I've got this stuff in here. So what I'm going to want to do is make sure that when I drill through, my bit being as long as it is, doesn't hit anything, any wiring. Or any other anything else that's back there that's a transformer so let's go ahead and drill this one on out I can actually see the transformer through there so I'm gonna drill it right about here and I don't know how sharp this bit is so this quarter inch so we'll go ahead and drill it and find out See how that grabbed? You gotta really be cautious with that. And those tapered bits on the ideals, hole saws, that will help prevent that. Won't eliminate it, but it helps prevent it. See how the part that's cut is still inside there. Also one of the things, when I drill in the direction of the cut, I don't think I can get it slow enough, but the cut is actually going clockwise. I tend to bring it down just a little bit and it makes a nice, nice cut all the way around. Now I'm not saying crank it down or over or anything like that. Just give it just a tad bit of a, a tilt. I found this to work good and uh, give it a try if uh, you done it don't like it. Heck, I'll listen to that too. So anyway, now we've taken a look at uh, all the different types. We've looked at the ideal hole saws. We've looked at the larger hole saws, uh, bimetal hole saws. We've looked at arbors. We've looked at the, the knockout set and what it takes to do uh, a half inch up through two inch and uh, it's a good start on my tool series which people keep asking me about so we're going to go ahead and continue with those so i want to thank you for watching and uh, have a great day talk to you later